Here's a few things you may not have known about Gremlins. There's no CG in this movie. Just good old practical effects and animatronics. There was an early attempt, though, to have spider monkeys play the Gremlins. But the test monkey had a complete meltdown when they put the Gremlin head on it. He tore the office up and shit all over everything. Like Beetlejuice, the original script was way more brutal. He had Gremlins killing Billy's dog and decapitating his mom. Alongside Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Gremlins helped inspire the PG-13 rating. Too violent for PG, but not violent enough for R. Honestly, I don't really see it. Here's a few things you may not have known about Lethal Weapon. Leonard Nimoy was considered to be brought on board as director, but he turned it down because he didn't really dig directing action movies. And he was working on Three Men and a Baby. The Riggs and Murtaugh characters were originally much darker in early scripts, both having their own flashbacks to Vietnam. With Murtaugh accidentally killing a young soldier with his bare hand, and more detail about Riggs' time as a CIA assassin, Mel Gibson turned down roles to be in The Fly and The Untouchables to be in this movie. One of the drug dealers at the Christmas tree stand was a guy named Blackie Dammit. Real name John Kiedis, father of Anthony Kiedis, head man for Red Hot Chili Peppers. Here's a few things you may not have known about Silent Night, Deadly Night. It opened the same weekend as Nightmare on Elm Street, and actually outgrossed it by about $160,000. It helped that it was playing in like twice as many theaters. And even though the 1972 film Tales from the Crypt and Christmas Evil had already done it, people were pretty upset about an axe wielding Santa Claus. So much so that the film was pulled from theaters after only two weeks. Around six minutes of footage was cut to get around that pesky X rating. For the Blu-ray release, the footage was found, but it was in pretty bad shape, so a lot of it couldn't be restored. Santa Claus only brings presents to them that's been good all year. All the naughty ones, he punishes. Here's a few things you may not have known about Die Hard. For most of the movie, Bruce Willis is wearing special rubber shoes that are made to look like bare feet. In some of the shots, you can tell they look a little unnaturally large. While making the film, cinematographer Jan DeBont got trapped in an elevator. This would later give him inspiration for an opening scene to a movie that he directed himself, which was Speed. Ironically, Bruce Willis is more German than most of the villains in this movie. Rickman was English and Alex Gudenhoff was Russian while Willis was born in West Germany to an American dad and a German mother. The line, yippee ki yay motherfucker, has been used in all five Die Hard movies. And it actually translates in Urdu to mean, here, eat this. You really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? yippee ki yay motherfucker. yippee ki yay motherfucker. yippee ki yay motherfucker. How about yippee ki yay motherfucker? Here's a few things you may not have known about Batman Returns. The massive set took up over half of Warner Brothers' 62-acre lot. Burgess Meredith, who had played the Penguin in the 1966 series, was asked and set to play the Penguin's father at the beginning of the film, but he ended up being too sick to take the part. Reportedly, Tim Burton was uncomfortable casting Christopher Walken as Max Schreck. When asked why in an interview, he said, the man just scares the hell out of me. He would go on to cast him in the Sleepy Hollow and the Superman Lives movie that never got off the ground as Brainiac. Michelle Pfeiffer would have to be vacuum sealed into the Catwoman outfit, with her headpiece being so tight that she would have to lower her voice register during the filming, and she would be screaming her lines because she couldn't hear her own voice. 